everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my slimes. And first of all, I have a big one and a small one. And I might be mixing them up here. So let's get started. First of all, I have this really big one. And um, it was too big to fit into a container. This is my tester for my um, slime shop tester. See? Because I'm not going to end up selling this one because it's a really nice slime. Um, sorry if you hear any background noises. I'm currently in like a trailer slash motorhome just because I wanted to be by myself and I'm a little sick today so okay. this was too big to fit into a bag and I didn't want to separate it so I put it in, into a big bag so I'm just kind of going to let it drip out it's a little sticky because water kept getting into it because of all the moisture So I'm going to be showing you some ASMR and just me playing with it because um, I'm going to need to have it perfectly. Sorry if my head's a little cut off so I don't want to bend all the way down here because then slime cuts my head off and then you can't see my bun if I'm seeing it. I don't hear any background noises. So it pokes really well, as you can see there's like little holes in it, and it's really stretchable. Look how stretchable that is. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Next I have the small one, I kept it in a Ziploc bag because it could fit. This one's a light blue slime. And yeah, you can buy this at my shop as well. Um, I will be starting a web. I'm gonna start a website soon, so I could sell slime. People could buy it offline. And these are gonna be for like cheaper prices, not like ten dollars. Although, if I ever sell this one, this will be ten dollars, ten to twelve dollars. But I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. This one's pretty stretchy, but. I made this one with borax and I made that one with laundry detergent. So this one kind of breaks. Yeah, see? I'm going to start making all my slimes with laundry detergent so that they're all safe. So I'm just going to poke it and stuff for you. This one tends to make weird, like, fart-sounding noises. <laughs> now it has a weird shape to it. This one's like bouncy, and as you, I'll just get a little bit out, 
Uh, so you can compare the two. This one's kind of just like more of a melting one. When you make them with borax, they're more bouncier. And when you make them with laundry detergent, um, the laundry detergent is um, a liquid, a liquidy substance, so it makes it more liquidy. So if you like yours like liquidy and like stretchable like this and it don't bounce, then get that one. But I will be selling borax ones and like other things like that, like sailing solution. But like if you like them like stretchable like this or if you like them stretchable like this, like only a little stretchy and pokeable and it makes fart sounds and stuff, I recommend buying the borax ones. So I'm just going to like kind of play with them until they're ready to be mixed. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I, uh, I played with them for a while and then I'm just going to take a small portion of them at the same time, like at one at a time because if you mix it all together at once then you're going to have like problems. And what I like to do is I like to do this and I like to cover it and then I like to slowly mix it. It's better mixing um, borax with borax and saline solution and saline solution and laundry detergent and laundry detergent and soft flow and soft flow. So, yeah, like mine's not typically like that. Sometimes I mix them together to make um, one slime a little harder than the other because it's too liquidy. Like this, to me, is like a little too liquidy. So like this right here... Like, it's perfect because, look, it still stretches, but at the same time, it's not, like, really liquidy. It's still pretty sticky, though, right now. So, I'm just going to keep doing this. I'll be back when I'm ha about halfway there. So here's the finished product. It doesn't look any different and it's still melting because there was only a small portion of the um, other slime and this was about, well that over there was about um, at least a, cup, a half a cup and this was at least three and a half cups. So like the more you mix it the better it comes together. But at the same time, it's not really going to come together because that one's made of borax and this one's made of um, laundry detergent. So if you just kind of take small portions of it at a time and mix them, then they'll be good. But you have to mix them fast so that um, the borax doesn't end up like freezing or something. Like I ha I've had that happen to me, except for like it wasn't left outside or anything. It just kind of froze because, like, you weren't playing with it. So if you don't play with your borax slimes, then um, they'll end up, like, freezing. The borax will freeze. Um, but you need to, like, continue playing with it. This one doesn't have, like, a lot of borax in it. But since it does have that little bit, it might freeze and it might ruin the rest of your slime. So you want to play with it quite often. And if you ever take it out, you have to, like, play with it really quickly. Sorry for the background noises, I'm just going to give you some ASMR. Well, not really ASMR, just me playing with my slime. So as you can see, my slime is starting to get bubbly. because of the borax, and that's what n makes you know that um, it's going to start to freeze, so you want to, like, at least poke it. Like, even if you don't like slime, but you have it, like, you don't want borax to freeze because freeze it, um, it smells. So, you can just kind of um, poke it, but I love slime, honestly, in my opinion. Oh, I got slime on my shirt. I got slimed. Okay. Keep it off, like, your clothes and stuff, because it is quite difficult to get off. 
like especially mattresses like it's quite difficult to get off mattresses as you can see this one's really shiny and this one's not as shiny anymore because of the borax I still have leftover um, light blue but that was because I started to I decided to stop about halfway through because it was taking a really long time and if I mixed it all in at the same time it wouldn't like be good but then again if I mixed two small portions it would take at least an hour for me to mix all of it in but I took smaller portions of it for about five minutes and that seemed to be enough because my slimes are starting to form a little bit more and the more you play with it the better it gets because you can actually mix the borax slime in And sometimes when you add rubber bands in, it, may, it actually ruins it, if you didn't know that. So if you put rubber bands in, then it's going to ruin it because the slime is going to tear apart because of the little um, metal part. The, in the middle thing. playing with this and I'm going to do my outro while I'm playing with it because it's not going to take me too much longer um well I just wanted to thank you all for watching um make sure to like and subscribe comment down below what you would like me to do next and I want this video to get at least 10 to 15 likes if not then um I'm not going to be able to start my website because I need to um like be a, at least a little popular on here because then you guys my fans could um go on there and you could buy it from me and um then i could buy more supplies to make slime because this is a slime channel um and i can't change it because i like slime even though i have a gallon of slime doesn't mean i mean even though i have a gallon of glue doesn't mean that it's going to last forever so Okay, I'm going to start taking bigger portions of it, and I'm just going to kind of talk about things. At least, like, my hand marks and veins. I'll show you. In a sec. Now I'm gonna add a lot more. I guess I'm just gonna kind of mix this around and I'm gonna add it all in there at once. It's kind of risky though. But risky is me. I'm risky. As you can see, there's like little chunks. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a chunk right there. But I can break it apart and you could see where it's been mixed because of the light blue. So I think it's, I feel like this one's way lighter than this one. Hold on one second. Natural lighting. I've got natural lighting on fleek in here. My natural lighting's on fleek. Okay, now I think it's time to mix it, although this one feels still chunky, but if I mix it into a smooth one, it'll make it less chunky, hopefully.
Right now it's very soothing. So I think that's all for the video. Like I said earlier, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you would like me to do next. And um, if this video gets to 15 likes, I will start my website up. Thank you. Come again. Bye-bye.